Hi Internet, Sergio with TechPedition.com. Um, as you can see, we got a MOGA. A MOGA. A MOGA. If you don't know what a MOGA is, it was announced earlier this year as a wireless controller to use with Android devices. That includes Android phones, uh, Android tablets, basically anything driven by uh, a, a, a droid operating system. Um, this thing, little clasp on it and you put, put your phone in there and uh, it's, it's, it's supposed to help you with your gaming because everyone knows the problem with mobile gaming is you, got, you ain't got buttons. Well, I can confirm 100%, no embargo, that this has buttons. Yeah, it also has little slide pad analog sticks and a couple start select buttons here. Um, it even has a power button on the bottom, huh, if you want to turn it on. Huh? So we're going to turn it on. We're going to sync it up to this, this uh, Android phone here. Got a Motorola Razr uh, that we're going to try out a couple games on. Uh, and I'll let you know how it's going to go. Uh, check techpedition.com for our official review. Um, but that's, that's the MOGA. So check it out. Okay, now when you're setting up the MOGA, it's kind of, it's kind of awkward at first when you have the the controller. Okay, the controller it has this this flap that you pop open, and you can just slide this. You have to of course stretch out the little flap thing here. Put the phone in it. It's it stretches and you know gets bigger, so it doesn't really matter how the size of your Android phone, it snaps in rather securely. Unless you're you know, flailing it around like so, it's going to stay stay put. It's you know got rubber grips on it. Um, for those of you who have Android tablets, uh, I would suggest getting some sort of like stand-up device if you don't already have one, uh, because what you would do is just play it like this. You would close it up and you would play it farther away from the tablet that would sit you know in the back back here. Um, Either way, you know, it's fully compatible with either one. Okay, here we have some Pac-Man. Uh, as you can see, the I don't know if you can see that in the video. I pushed... Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm using the controller just to control everything, even the menus. Uh, everyone's familiar with Pac-Man, so we're going to run through a quick level of Pac-Man. I'm not very good at Pac-Man, so... If I die... Don't. Yeah, go ahead and make fun of me. I'm not good at Pac-Man. Of course, playing Pac-Man with a controller is kind of a, you know, a rudimentary way to show off this piece of hardware. So you know, I'm not going to base my opinion of you know how good a piece of hardware this is on whether or not I can play Pac-Man. But it's always fun to have direct control. You know, you don't want to have to be touching the screen. The screen is never. Never the ideal way to play Pac-Man. Okay, so there, there I died. I died. Let's 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 get out of here. So I'm gonna go back. Let's go home. Go back to the Moga app. In here, we have a few games. Um, let's go with another one that you're probably very familiar with, or at least somewhat familiar with. And that is Sonic Yo. This specifically is Sonic CD, and uh, actually, if you purchase a MOGA, uh, you will get a download code for a copy of Sonic CD, and download copy for a Sonic or a copy of uh, that uh, Pac-Man game. So here we go. Uh, again, everything's mapped really well. Looks like Sega's on Sega's always on board with everything, so it doesn't really surprise me that you know. It's compatible here. And the, the force feedback that's in the, the, this game specifically is coming from the actual phone because that's, you know, that, that's doing all of the heavy, li heavy lifting here. Uh, but the great thing is, is I, I don't know if they designed it this way or not, but the, the, the actual vibration is felt through the entire controller. It's really, really bizarre. That's good because that's exactly what you want. 
when you have, you know, like a controller and you, know, you have vibrations, you want to feel it all the way through it. And it, it's maybe this phone is just turned up really, really high on the vibrate vibration settings. I don't know. But I, it's, I know it's hard to watch someone play with a controller, but all of this is being controlled by, of course, the the analog stick, which I've never really been a fan of playing Sonic games with an analog stick. So it is kind of weird that there is no uh, there's no D-pad on this thing because they totally could have fit one. Uh, I'm sure maybe maybe like copyright issues got in the way because. The only good D-pads are Nintendo D-pads or Sony D-pads, and you can't really make a Nintendo-style T D-pad, so maybe they just completely said, screw it, we're just going to go analog uh, and hope it does well. Like, it's, it's kind of weird. It seems, it's, it seems like something that should have been added. Maybe in future iterations they'll come up with something. Um, but that's Sonic. I know you played Sonic before, so... We're gonna move on. Uh, I haven't found a good way to get back to the right to the Moga app from in game, but home and, and pressing the button. Oh, oh, looks like my battery's dying. Um, this is Batman. Now I, I want to go ahead and throw a disclaimer up. By no means is this Batman game good whatsoever. It's not good. And to make it even worse, to compound upon its terribleness, typically you would play it on the touch screen. And I, I don't know who developed this game. I'm, I'm not going to... I guess Gameloft did it. But I think they were trying to duplicate the success and the controls of uh, Batman Arkham City and Arkham Asylum, that did not happen here. We're going to skip directly to the combat. Okay. It actually feels like you're playing a real game instead of some weird, like, approximation of a game with a touch screen. Like, you don't have to worry about if your finger is hitting the right spot on the screen to trigger the, the, the button presses. Um, you know, you probably don't have as much analog movement as you typically would uh, having the, you know, the thumb stick on screen. Apparently you can still use it. That's odd. Uh, but it, you do have more control, which is really the only point to this thing, is to, to make sure you have enough control. Controllers like this may finally usher in a, you know, an era of mo mobile, you know, iPhone and Android games that don't completely blow ass, which is really scary for Nintendo, but it's really good for us, because I'm really tired of mobile games being just, you know, clones of Cut the Rope. Because as good as Cut the Rope is, like, I don't need six different versions of Cut the Rope. So, I think that'll do it. Let's, uh, let's, let's look at one more game. See if I've got a battery in there to do it. Um, let's do this Riptide GP. I'm assuming GP is, stands for Grand Prix. Doing easy because I don't want to see you guys. I don't want you guys to see me lose. Um, now this is an odd game because it was clearly designed to work with a touchscreen because you don't even have to hit gas; like it just kind of goes. You know, if this was built for a controller, you would have a go button. Um, but you know, you steer with the analog stick. Then there's an acceleration. Uh, this is, of course, available for fifty dollars. Retails for fifty bucks. Um, that, of course, assume, assuming you're an, you know, an early adopter or you buy directly from uh, the manufacturer or the developer. Uh, like anything, 
I'm assuming you can get it on Amazon for a little bit cheaper than it retails for, because Amazon is the greatest retailer to have ever lived. If I guess if retailers were sentient, neither it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, fifty bucks. If you are really tied to your your you know your Android, fifty bucks may may work for you. Or if you're a mom who just would rather buy a phone for your kid rather than like a $300 gaming system and your kid throws a bitch fit because oh it's not a real game platform this may muffle them a little bit you know it's like no it, it is look it has a controller now you know uh, kids aren't that dumb usually you know they'll see through your ruse but you know they may have something their friends don't and uh, this thing's kind of cool um I wouldn't say it's going to change the world but it's worth checking out. MOGA. Android wireless controller to control your games on your tablet and or phone. Um, it's made by Power A. Of course, they make a lot of different accessories. Uh, I've never used a Power A device, so I couldn't tell you. I know this feels really solid, so uh, I can see after like heavy, heavy use maybe this getting a little more like weak and not as not as firm and you know strong uh, but that's completely conjecture I have not used it nearly enough to test its structural integrity or anything like that um, but pretty solid um, you can find out some more information on it at powera.com slash moga that's m-o-g-a uh, also visit techvision.com my review will be going live uh, shortly, if not already, so check it out. Um, I think that's that's all I have. That's all I, yeah, that's all I have this time. Um, again, check it out. It's the MOGA. It's for Android devices. Uh, 2.3 and on, so that means you C Spire customers that still have the Android Galaxy S1, the original, Galaxy S. This, it should be compatible with that. Um, I have not tested it. If it does not work, then I'm going to look like a jackass. But it has the right version of of Android. So we'll see. Till next time, Sergio. Visit techpedition.com.